Hi everyone, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to go over how to install fonts to use in Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you make videos with either of these two programs, there should be a number of fonts available to you just by default. However, there's a really high chance that you can find a font online that better suits your needs. And if so, you'll need to know how to manually install it. The good news is that this process is very simple. In fact, to do this, all you need to do is install the font to your computer, and all your Creative Cloud products will recognize and include it automatically. So let's get started. Right now, I'm on a PC, but the process is very similar for Mac, and we'll go through this a second time on that operating system. Start by locating the font that you want to install. Typically, these files contain either the ending TTF or OTF. Once you've located it, double-click on the font to open up this display box. Here you can see examples of what your font will look like. To install it, go to the top left corner and click the Install button. And there you go, you've installed your font. Let's do it one more time on a Mac. Double click on your font and click install. Depending on how recent your versions of Premiere Pro and After Effects are, you may see this change occur immediately and you'll have the fonts available to you right away. If not, simply save your work, exit, and reopen your program to find it now included in the list of other fonts. If you have trouble finding it by scrolling, try clicking this box with the font name and type it in manually. Finally, if you're using a Motion Array template download, it's possible that you don't have the font used in the example or promo for the template. If this is a case where it's a non-standard font, a link to where you can download the font might be included, and, if possible, from a distributor that provides it for free. Let's walk through this together. Start by locating the text file labeled font. Open it, and this will show you a link to where you can download the text. Copy and paste it into your browser to go to the site to download the font. Depending on the site, you'll probably find the download button either at the top of the page or at the very bottom. Once you've downloaded it, you can now use the process we just went over to install your new font. And that's it! I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.